Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to put a mouse script into RPG Maker XP. What this script will do is allow you to use the mouse in your RPG Maker games. So now you not only have the keyboard, but you also have mouse control. So to start off, you just need to download this file here. I'll provide a link in the description. Just need to open it up and go to this folder and there will be three scripts here. For now you can just put that off to the side. Then open up your RPG Maker and as you can see I already have some, I already did something and that's just to save time and to put some stuff in there already. So first off you just need to go to the script editor, scroll down to main and insert four new blanks. And just call it start game mouse one mouse two and mouse three. So then when you have that, just go back to your scripts, open them up, highlight it all, copy and then you can just put that off to the side and paste it in. Then go to the mouse one, mouse one, highlight it all, copy, and paste. And then just do that for the rest of them. There, so now when you have all those in, just click apply and OK. Now we need a couple graphics for the for the script to cooperate. So you just need to go up to the materials icon, go to icons, import, and you need at least two arrows. Uh, Okay, so arrow 1 is a uh, necessity. Arrow 1 will be what uh, the cursor looks like without it uh, being anything. It really is what the cursor is now, just a uh, fan in the game. So this is what the cursor will look like in the game. You also need arrow 4. Arrow 4 is uh, will be like a sword or something. Whatever you want for the battles. Or uh, it, it will be what happens when uh, you hover over uh, an enemy or something. So once those arrows are imported, just uh, just close that. So to actually, uh, so we had a speech bubble before, and at the moment when we hover over a character, it will just stay the same arrow. So we need to make a comment. So you just go to insert, comment, and then type in arrow. And arrow five is my speech bubble uh, arrow, so that so that would be what you would type in. I already made that comment, and then you know I just put the text saying "hello." Um, if you want the arrow to have something written with it, you can just have like a here's the speech bubble arrow, and then you need to make another comment that says mouse, and then the square brackets zero comma one space name space and then this is what we'll say after the mouse so when you have that just apply and okay and if you want so here's an enemy if you want uh, to have the, to, for the arrow to turn to a sword icon same thing just go to comment arrow 4 is my sword icon and then the battle processing so when you have that all in it should look something like this So as you can see, my cursor changed, and I can choose that. So now, if I hover over this guy, it turns to a speech bubble, and I can click, and it goes up, it says hello. I can talk to her, and it says, you know, random person is what we wanted to say. And I can go over the ghost, 
and it should initiate a battle. So if you go to fight, attack, you'll see the little cursor changes. And it is compatible with many other battle scripts that I have uh, shown, including the, the side view battle script I have uh, previously done a tutorial of. It is compatible with that. Um, to go to the menu, you just need to right click, and then you have all this. It's a very compatible, and it works with almost all scripts. So I hope this was helpful, and uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed.